Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you on my YouTube channel today. I'm delighted to announce today's guest, who is not only an award-winning founder director of Blooming New Age Enterprise, but she is the only Indian with double master's degree from UK in Indian tourism sector. She is amazing personality outspoken and she has already started her FB live as soulful conversations. So let's not waste our time and check it out with her what exactly this soulful journeys or soulful conversations. So let's start interacting with Dipti Pati. Hi Dipti. So uh, yeah, you know, I would like to ask more about your soulful journeys or soulful conversations because I know I've seen something on FB and it's good to know about that from, from horse's mouth. So can you just give brief idea about, uh, you know, soulful journeys or soulful conversations? Yes, sure. Uh, so soulful journeys is a, a travel agency basically, but I called it as a travel boutique because you get a lot of things uh, out there. Uh, it was started in 2018. Um, and uh, it was more about we used to do a lot of leisure trips uh, for family and uh, a group of friends as they are traveling and it was more uh, a, a casual type of thing uh, but then soon I realized that uh, you know it, uh, the market is getting very concentrated very saturated there is a lot of heavy competition and mainly people are not knowing uh, where they want to go they know that they want to go for a vacation but they are not aware of a lot of destinations that are available or even if there is a destination, they don't know what else to do out there. Uh, so I wanted to change that trend. Um, and then uh, whenever I used to get an inquiry, I used to try uh, letting people know that, you know, there's a lot more things available if you're going to the same place. So for example, if they're going to Gujarat, so it is not just about Ahmedabad or Ranoff Kutch, what else we can do, how we can add up a wildlife safari or how we can do some uh, other things like you know go to a local village do a handicraft workshop and things like that and I realized that uh, we have to uh, do something where we can make people aware of uh, such available uh, experiences uh, and uh, and that's how I uh, started uh, working on a different new packages I started studying uh, I did a lot of market survey I did a lot of uh, study on the trends I spoke to a lot of people, what are they interested in, and um, collected a lot of information. And uh, so I started working on new concepts. Uh, I uh, started this, I called it as soulful journeys because I wanted we should be more connected to our soul and it shouldn't be just about traveling, but we have to do something that will connect to our souls. And uh, because I had a lot of interest cultural aspects of well, not just India but uh, throughout the world I designed some packages which were more about um, uh, cultural trips uh, we have architectural tools we have Google tools uh, we have something into uh, wildlife as well as tribals um, and very passionate you know so even I do a lot of photography and also I wanted to combine all these things with the people who are uh, into this kind of passion so uh, I have certain uh, packages designed where uh, people can have specialized uh, photography tools along with these two. So you can go on an architectural tool and do a photography along. Or you can uh, actually do a cycling tour and still go on an architectural tour. So imagine you do cycling in uh, jungles of Kana or Panna and uh, you even cycle around Khajurao. So you know, you are try I'm trying to mix a lot of different things together which will be more exciting, uh, eco-friendly, more sustainable to the community and uh, more respect, uh, respectful towards the environment as well. And uh, so when this lockdown started, um, uh, everyone was like in that mood like what is going to happen and that and there's no future and etc and etc. And I thought that this is the right time for me to, uh, you know, actually enter. So instead of just uh, thinking over or contemplating that what is going to happen, I said, why not utilize this time and uh, work on this concept? 
so i uh, started with my bunch of team i started i uh, hired some interns and uh, we all spend around months designing completely new packages which are uh, sustainable as well as eco friendly and exciting uh, we made our website and uh, yes and then after that we uh, decided to launch the soulful conversations and that is how it happened uh, so my idea of soul, soulful conversations was very simple so i had this uh, certain um, objectives in mind so one was to create awareness about the new concepts that we are uh, say focusing on and we want to reach to a new target audience or rather i would call it, uh, call it like a very niche market uh, so i wanted people to know that uh, uh, you know the new concepts and why they are important and uh, how we can gather how they can be a new source of experience and how they can create a positive impact on tourism industry as well as on the local community uh, so that was one aspect second aspect was i wanted to introduce people who are actually the main stakeholders of this tourism industry uh, so um, it was not something about that i'll invite a travel agent and let them know that you know how i conduct a tour or anything but i wanted to uh, introduce the people who were giving this experiences so for example uh, in my show i had uh, agro tourism expert mr pandurang kauri i had uh, anurag sharma who is a wildlife uh, uh, you know entrepreneur uh, i had kedar hide who is a wildlife photographer as well as a conservationist uh, i had uh, uh, prabodh chilwarkar who is an archaeologist so i tried to gather a lot of people who are uh, at the back end probably not directly related to the tourism industry but a very essential part of the tourism industry and i wanted people how these guys work what are their thought process about uh, tourism and what are their practices for providing sustainability for providing um, you know something to learn about how we can be a responsible tour operator as well as responsible um, traveler and i wanted to learn from them that how they are creating impactful or uh, positive uh, impact rather to the uh, socio economic development of the communities so uh, that is how uh, i invited all these people and certainly i also wanted to um, you know let our uh, my fellow tour operators or travel agents know that even they should follow some certain rules and uh, practice some better tourism practices Uh, so uh, it shouldn't be like you know take a group of 50 people at some particular place and then try to create a nuisance it is not some do, uh, does it very uh, consciously or with a aim ki wahan ja ke kuch karna hai ya fir maze karne hai but uh, unconsciously it happens because uh, tourists are also in that mood of you know uh, having fun they are on a holiday Uh, but it is our responsibility as a tour operator that we give them a small orientation and let them know that what are the things that we should do or they cannot do when they are at a particular place so for example if you are going on a wildlife tour so instead of you know shouting like oh tiger aaya tiger aaya so you know don't do that wear particular kind of clothes or don't take selfies or uh, just be calm don't uh, play loud music so there's so many things or you know or try reducing the plastic pollution when we go in the wildlife don't throw garbage or if you are going at a heritage site so you know don't try to touch everything don't try to lean on those uh, uh, pillars and uh, try to be respectful towards the communities where we are going so uh, when we go if you see uh, leaving even if we go to rather a very big metropolitan city for example if we go to london if we go to singapore we say that this is very modern cities but then everyone have their own culture everyone have their own set of rules uh, and we have to follow that and we have to respect that so if tomorrow we go to streets of london and someone is wearing a small skirt we cannot laugh at them we cannot comment on them because that is their culture it's okay we don't resonate with people around or we don't um, uh, agree to things uh, at certain point of time but it's okay we don't have to live with it we just have to uh, look at it appreciate it experience it and try to gain something new knowledge that okay this things also happen in the world 
so this is what i want uh, everyone to understand and um, at the end of the day by listening to all this uh, viewer uh, speakers i want viewers to be more um, explorer rather than the travelers i want them, i want them to actually go uh, by themselves you know understand that why they are going um, not because we want to take a holiday but if we are taking a holiday then why a particular place if i am going on a particular place then what i am going to learn from it what i am going to experience from it and how i am going to do it and how i can make a difference to that particular place so even if you go for say uh, any or uh, say village or something uh, is it going to help the economy or i am going to do a more damage to that economy so it is more about making people aware of about that so that was my whole objective and uh, i am thankful that uh, people have received it well and uh, my speakers were also uh, very helpful in uh, supporting my thought process and in fact they had that same similar thought process and uh, it uh, actually uh, kind of matched with our thoughts as well <laughs> Great. So, Dipti, when I when I am actually hearing out everything about soulful conversations, right? I am feeling like we are like-minded people. You are talking about tourism. I am talking about in general. But the same thing, give it to get it, right? Something we should give to the society, and that's where this all comes to the picture. So, as far as this, uh, you know, your FB live, your this soulful conversation is concerned, what what kind of feedback you are getting from from the viewers? i mean uh, e- and even from the speakers as well because again this is a new experience this is something you have started during lockdown right so there are yes. so much of negativity across but then still the speakers who are coming you know coming up front saying that okay we, you know i will take a you know session today and even the viewers are also listening it and giving you the feedback right so would you like to share some feedback from them Yes, yes, definitely. In fact, uh, I'm really grateful that uh, first thing about all the speakers who were uh, very uh, kind enough to join me on the sessions, and uh, even they had like, yeah, let's do something at least. Uh, let people know that what is available in the market for them, what experiences are available, and uh, during this lockdown, let them, as I said, let them be a more uh, responsible travelers or let them be a uh, explorers and. uh most of my speakers gave so much good insights and they changed the perspective about that particular concept so it was uh, a total mind opener uh, sessions i would rather say and i'm sure um, like my i i got really good feedbacks on each of the topics so obviously there were different viewers for different topics because everyone has their uh, own interest but uh, i really got a wonderful response so most of my um, uh videos have already you know like uh, in a in a day or in few hours time already we uh, have thousand and more viewers so uh, that was really nice and uh, people were really happy that uh, we are not just listening to the common things about this is the destination and this is what to do and what not to do uh, but it was more about uh, the speakers uh, trying to educate everyone uh, and uh, even viewers as well uh, got to know about so much more opportunities uh, so be it in wildlife in adventure tourism and uh, for example uh, adventure tourism it was a totally new thing that adventure sports cannot just be uh, you know that doing that parasailing and shouting at the top of your lungs and feeling that yes i did it or something but um, it was more uh, the way he explained uh, it was, we uh, we had invited amul khanke and he had explained it so well that it is uh, it can also be a source of uh, say life saving career so the way he trains air force pilot he trains uh, our navy and you know our police officers and who would have thought that uh, oh yeah this all this adventure sports can be a life saving uh, uh, you know medium as well and uh, plus it was some they 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 did lot of uh, rescue operations for animals as well so they have rescued leopards they have rescued monkeys mm-hmm. and uh, snakes so imagine like it is not just about you know flying from somewhere or, or flying down from a hol- helicopter or something but uh, it was something very different and uh, uh, he uh, he tried to tell that let 
let our kids go out let our kids go out into the nature uh, you know that itself is an adventure so everything when you go outdoors so itself uh, starts give, uh, teaching you a lot of things and it makes a lot of positive impact on you as a person you know like there is we call it a personality development so that happens and it is not just for kids but even he was very insisting that even parents should go out more often along with their kids and teach them that you know what is available so overall the feedback from uh, the speakers and the viewers was mind blowing and uh, uh, the whole objective was covered and every uh, from every person who uh, Although they belong to different sects of the society or uh, from different tourism backgrounds, like as the same uh, wildlife or adventure or um, rural or archaeology, everyone is like a totally different field. But uh, they had one thing in common that uh, this is all our heritage. You know, respect our heritage, save our heritage, and uh, respect our nature. and nature has so much to give and uh, if we don't have nature we don't have culture and if we don't have culture we don't have heritage so that is that that was like the bottom line of the entire series i would say great and yeah you make you made one very important point when it comes to personality development i know there are a lot of courses of personality development and all that but yeah when you go to when you are close to nature nature itself taking care of that entire personality development so yeah yes, that's yes, really absolutely. nice absolutely i would rather to go to any personality development classes or anything just stay one month in a jungle and it will teach you everything teach you everything. i mean um, if you really get we are outdoors uh, so imagine we are actually using our imagination we are being independent we are being uh, say self reliant we are uh, making our own decisions you know so so many things so uh, uh, we have this uh, what do you call like quick decision making power starts like abhi kya karna hai you know so there is there is some hurdle so what do how do i react and what should i do and all these things and sometimes we uh, we become more observant we become more a good listeners you know so you are we are always talking or on uh, google and you know all this online things but when we are outdoors we observe so many things so uh, it is not just about finding a, a animal or something we have so many plants around us we have so many textures you know around us like you pick up a soil and you will find there so many different types of soil you pick up stones and you see different types of stones so there are so many plants around us and and nature always surprises i would say and that is how the overall personality develops that that is my personal experience and that's what i feel excellent excellent i completely agree with it dipthi so dipthi when when you know as this is really you know nice tourism and then you are talking about all those innovative ideas about it and all i would like to know more of you know from your personality perspective when it comes to uh, you know this covid 19 situation and when the lockdown has been announced and you know it has started extending 1 2 3 and all that right so everyone outside talking about there is a huge impact and you know uh on on tourism also on all the travels also it's it's not only impact outside but within a person also it has an impact right the negativity has been injected to you know each and everyone's thought process so what was your thought process that time and how you thought of utilizing this time because this is very you know challenging most of the times that you know there is a negativity outside and still you are actually positively thinking and uh you know trying to do something good out of it trying to you know be more productive even in such situation so what was your thought process when when this all started right so initially when it started we all knew that um, we don't know when it was going to last so initially we thought it was just for 15 days or you know maybe a month or something and uh but i always had this plan in back of my mind that i have to work on the new concept and i have to start my working on my website and i thought that this is the best time and uh, see it is this is like uh, we call it like a momentary thing so yeah it might extend it has already extended to 6 months and it might go up to more 6 months but that is not uh, like say entire life right we have still more number of years to go so what is the use of uh, sitting and crying like you know there are ups and downs and 
uh, we cry. We have already lost so many years in between, we can say, because of, say, failures. I mean, you are an entrepreneur, you know, it is not always a, a great start. Like you start and then everything goes smoothly. We, yeah, we lost, lose so many months, we lose so many years. So I thought that, why? Why just sit idle and just, uh, in fact, more uh, negative thoughts. So rather than utilize the time, you know, and anyways, we are going to do it. So even if this pandemic was not there, I was anyways going to do my website. So in fact, I thought that this has given me more time to spend, uh, you know, to concentrate more and uh, to spend more time on uh, planning, designing. And it, uh, I, as I said that uh, even the new trends were coming in, I thought that this will be a great ideal uh, time to introduce uh, new concepts which are more, uh, say, uh, ecological based or promote more of ecotourism so when we think about only uh, us that we are affected think about those uh, rural communities how badly they might be affected so why not uh, tourism be a medium where we can actually uh, give back to the society and uh, help them and why not introduce such concepts so uh, obviously we absolutely i had no idea if it's going to last for two months or whatever it's it's almost now six months but um, yes, and it really gave me uh, ample of time to think positively, to uh, think in a very, um, uh, what do you call, ekdam shanti hai ki abhi kya karna hai, kya next kar sakte hai. And it is giving me time to work on my marketing aspects. It is giving time for me to do my research, you know. And so every time I think something, uh, so our next lockdown starts. I think that uh, now I'll introduce something and a lockdown. Starts. That's fine. That is that is going to happen. This kind of hurdles are going to come. If not pandemic, something else is going to come. Like we have already seen travel uh, ages or uh, industry being, uh, you know, affected. We do a lot of other things. It's not just this, but uh, it keeps happening. There are a lot of other factors of climate conditions of. Or terrorism of uh, you know political issues which happen in between the countries and somewhere or the other uh, travel is uh, industry is the one who gets hit the first so um, yeah these things keep happening and uh, we cannot just sit and keep crying you know we have to be innovative we have to think out of the box and uh, keep us ourselves positive and thankfully, I had a lot of people around me who uh, encouraged me that, yeah, you take this forward and let's let's do something. And uh, so I would, in fact, uh, thank one of my professor, Dr. Jatin Pancholi, who is from uh, Middlesex University, where I studied a few years back from London. Uh, so he is always there to support me and motivate me and my wonderful team from interns to my uh, teammates. All have been very positive and all have been like, yeah, yeah, we have to do it and let's do it. Great, so, great, yeah, to, it. <laughs> great to hear that because, you know, uh, that's also one of the key, you know, that, you know, when you are positive, it's it has to be, you know, spread across. And when it comes to the other people who are also positive and who are around you, then it is very easy to be positive rather than thinking so much of negativity, right? So yes, that's yes. that's the and that's basically the objective of this YouTube channel as well, Tipti. Yeah. That I want a whoever is positive enough, even in such situation, and actually utilizing this time, right? I wanted to showcase that. See, guys, don't don't just sit idle, think about all the negative stuff. Think positively. You have this time actually to utilize it for the things which you have not done or you parked it somewhere. So that's yes, really absolutely. nice. Uh, Dipti, my last question to you. As you mentioned, you know, uh, just a few minutes back, the tourism industry is, you know, getting hit first whenever there is an issue coming up, in, you know, uh, around the globe, right? And tourism, in, you know, industry really impacted very badly when it comes to this COVID-19 situation, right? So my, uh, you know, there are a lot of my friends, there are a lot of, you know, people who I know, those are now literally thinking about quitting this industry and coming out of it and you know starting something new and what it's good if they are starting new i'm not saying no but there are people who are who who wants to quit but they don't know that really they have to quit or is there any future in tourism industry will there be like you no know, things maybe with new normal but the things will actually happen for good so all those lot of questions are there and they really you said, right, you have a, one person to whom you can 
you can you know talk and you can get some positive uh, you know answers from them and you can get motivated because of that uh, you know uh, uh, one person this special person what you just mentioned about but everyone is not aware about all that right everyone doesn't have such kind of uh, you know uh, people around to whom they can speak and they can get guidance and all so i i would like you to just you know say few words for them just let let them know that you know is it really uh you know uh, like stop and they need to quit this industry or there are a lot of you know opportunities are still you know kind of waiting for them once this lockdown is over so what was your your opinion on that oh uh, yes as you said we are always surrounded by negative people you do whatever they are going to comment ki if you don't do this you do this or you know everyone has their opinion but it is up to us that we do whatever we like and uh, and i have always been doing that i always follow my passion i never listen to anyone that ye nahi karna chahiye yahan pe koi scope nahi hai so when i started as a tourism consultant lot of people were like oh, consultancy is something you do after your 50 years of age or you know this is not the right time and what is there in tourism industry so i got lot of negative feedbacks on my career choices but then i said that it's okay it is my life even if uh, i make uh, wrong decisions it is my uh, decision you know so i don't want to blame anyone but at least let me try what if i succeed you know so we always have that saying that let me try if i fail i fail if not then i might fly <laughs> so uh, that is how it happened and um, yeah there are th- there are this hard times we really don't know when the uh, say airlines uh, are going to start or hotels are going to start and I, it is a lot of uh, you know a hard time to the industry but again i see that uh, quitting is not a solution but um, finding a solution is the solution so yeah you might not have right kind of a job and i understand that uh, there is a lot of survival issues we need a lot of money to survive we have families to look after but uh, i would rather see that please be positive and there is lot of things that you can do in the tourism industry so even if you have a subsequent uh, understanding how the tour operators or travel agents work why don't combine your passion into that you know so even if you know something of how to do a hotel booking so you know use your prior experiences and uh, i mean if you look at my series you will see that everything what we actually do is connected to tourism so if you like to cook then uh, you can do food tours you know you can take people to this uh, enjoying the street food or you can start a series on say how to do a food or particular recipe and you can talk about how this recipe invented from somewhere and take people to that particular village to see you can go into rural tourism or uh, you can go into agro tourism or uh, i mean anything so yesterday i was uh, having a session on uh, uh, what do you call architecture archaeology So you know something, you can combine it with uh, tourism. You know, it it is not like tourism so, is something out of the world. It is like you know, for example, you know paintings. So enjoy that. Learn from where that paintings came from. So you know, say Gond art or you, there is a Varli art. If you are a painter, then you know, find something like how you can utilize your skills and combine it with tourism. Take people to uh, those rural communities and let them learn some skill over there. so there are a lot of things so uh, even a small example is like uh, if you are a language expert so why not uh, do something like understand that uh, from where this japanese language in, uh, was coming why don't we go to japan and understand the uh, uh, history of that language how it evolved which were the places why not read uh, certain books or you know so we have like lot of vedas and ramayana and if you see ramayana then there is a whole huge trail of we uh, it is in fact uh, ministry of uh, tourism in india has declared a ramayana trail in india so we cannot say that maine ramayan pad liya aur aage kya karunga nahi you know ramayan it is wonderful you know absolutely where rama was born where the war happened what what is the connection with sri lanka where was the ravan stay utilize it take people to all those places do that trail it is so simple you know we have religious tourism you know like we have always been doing ashtavinayak so there are so many other places uh, for religious tourism you can combine those 
them together you know tourism is such a beautiful industry there are unlimited possibilities there is nothing as such where you will say that no i am not from that field i don't know anything and i'm stuck i would say that if you are chemical engineer take students to a chemical factory let them see how the process work you are an chemical expert tell them how it works for example you are an it guy i have never seen an it company how it works and how the uh, thing is all about so you can uh, organize tours you know for uh, say educational tours for uh, it students right okay let me take to an it industry and let me show you how the entire process works how the mechanism works how the technology stuff so i, I would say that uh, it is like unlimited abilities in tourism industry and uh, it's just that how you think out of the box how you become curious how you are an explorer and how you combine your skills together excellent it's excellent and you know uh, this reminds me when when it comes to you know i, I was reading some you know uh, uh, books and where i you know on the positivity how to become positive and all that stuff a few few months back and uh, you know there it, this this was mentioned that you should believe in yourself you should stick to the basics if you are a graduate the way you mentioned if you are a graduate uh, you know you are engineer you know chemical engineer or it guy stick to basics utilize that those that knowledge because knowledge never never you know it's like it's it is always a your good friend right so yeah. utilize that knowledge into this industry so whoever is you know actually in tourism industry right now and if he is from some basic uh, you know whatever knowledge he has he can actually rethink this is the best time to you know inspect and adapt basically and move forward rather than thinking about aage kya hoga what what else will happen how much you know this this time this lockdown will extend and all that stuff that is going to happen yes or no maybe in five five months six months or maybe one month but this is the right time actually to work on those basics and try to come up with an amazing amazing thing that's really nice uh, good to uh, you know good to get this kind of information from from you uh thank you <laughs> seriously i mean though we are you know we 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 didn't meet so so long dipti but you know the way we have a conversation it was really nice and uh one more thing i would like yes. i mean if my viewers really want to know you about your series you know fb series can can you just uh, tell me you know how to, how they can they can search uh, this soulful conversations yes yes definitely so i have this uh, facebook page called soulful journeys uh, tours so the id is soulful journeys tours i'll uh, send you the spelling because it's a little different uh, so when i think of doing different i do the spelling also different <laughs> <laughs> yes so i have this facebook page you can find me on instagram with the same id uh, we have uh, a profile as well and i have a website called www.soulfuljourneys.co.in i have a youtube channel where you can find uh, all those um, videos which have been uploaded so yeah i'm available everywhere and i'm also available on linkedin so if anyone has to speak anything to me have any uh, things to discuss any uh, guidance they want i'm always available please do excellent, give me a message excellent that will be really nice and i'm sure there will be definitely some inquiries coming to you saying that you know dipti i want to know about this or know about that and all so and i will see to it that you know in the description of this video i will put your you know uh, fb page fb link and as well as youtube link so that if anyone wants to serve they, they will be easily to easily you know access it that those all links will be easily accessible yes. so great dipti thank you for your time today and uh, definitely uh, let's let's be positive and start spreading this positivity uh, you you continue with your tourism and uh, you know i will continue with my general entire general stream and let's see how okay, again we can meet on this thank yes. you for uh, spending this time thank you very much thank you so much swanand to invite me and uh, i also like to be around with positive people like you and yeah let's spread positivity and be happy <laughs>